Okay, I'm going to show on the Furman WH03242 what the current is drawn by the electronic module when it's just, uh, you know, sitting around not being used. So this unit's been charged up, the battery's charged up, and I've got an amp meter here in series, and I'm drawing about 0.18 milliamps here. That's with an 8060A in uh, current mode. If you put, go down here too much, it's going to read about a little bit less because it's got some resistance in line. I'm going to go up here. I did it on another one I had, and it was 0.22. This is 0.18. So this is the connection when you first get a unit. You take the cover off, and then you connect up the uh, connector here. And I just wanted to see what it would draw. And so you always leave this on. I was wondering, well, if you leave it on half a year, a year. Went through the math, and if I think if it was 0.22 or 0.2, it'd draw after 8,000 hours, 8,700, 8, whatever is in a year. It'd take the battery down about 1.7 ampere hours. It's a 5 ampere hour battery that's kind of buried down inside there. So that means you'll probably uh, be dead in two years. So that means you need to crank it up every, you know, probably three months, keep the battery topped off. But there is a little bit of a draw. That's why when you get the unit, uh, you have to plug it in. They don't want to have the units going dead just sitting here again. That is in milliamps, 0.18. And a unit I just did was about 0.2 to 0.22. Um, this is where you had the oil. Both of the units, um, it says it holds 20 ounces. I had to put in 16 and it was full. Got some bubble one here. But um, I got the unit level, so there must be a little bit of oil in there, or the 20 ounces is not correct. And there you go. The Furman 3242. I don't know. You know, here it is, the generator running on fossil fuels. 